So, given what we've learned in the previous video segments, we can return to our original question. Who really pays taxes? And more specifically, does it matter who government imposes the statutory incidence of the tax on? Does it matter if government imposes the statutory incidence on the supply side of the market or on the demand side of the market? At least in terms of the economic effects of the tax. We've seen that the answer to that question is no. Furthermore, we've seen that tax shifting may occur depending on the price elasticity of demand. Tax shifting refers to the phenomenon in which the economic incidence or the economic burden of a tax is borne by an entity other than the one on which the statutory incidence or the legal liability of the tax falls. In Texas, many taxes are structured in a way so that the statutory incidence of the tax falls on businesses. But for taxes where the statutory incidence is imposed on business, it is clear that the economic burden of the tax will always be shifted away from the business. The point that economists like to make here is that people bear the economic burden of the tax, not corporations or businesses. So a tax imposed on business will be shifted either forward to the consumer in the form of higher prices for the goods and services that they buy, or backward to the owners of the business in the form of lower return on investment, or perhaps to the employees of the business in the form of lower wages for their labor. In many instances, it's some combination of forward and backward shifting of taxes. Now we're prepared to move on to the second question relevant to who pays taxes in Texas. That is, how is the tax burden in Texas distributed?